Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to Ivy English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today is July twenty-first, and please turn to page fifty-eight in your magazines. Our title today is "How Unsustainable Is the Digital Economy?" 好，我们的中文标题是“数位科技真的环保吗”。This really makes you think because I, I'm guessing a lot of us feel that doing a lot of things online actually is more environmentally friendly than doing them offline. For example, we save a lot of paper by doing things online. 嗯，好，那我们很多人都觉得说，我们用网络处理事情，好，或者用电脑处理事情，其实是呃非常环保的啊。例如说，因为我们用网络用环保，我们省了很多纸。Right. And also, if we do something online like teaching, you can reach many more people. You don't have to hold so many classes in so many places. You can do it all in one go, and lots of people, basically an unlimited number of people, can see you. Ah, and also, we if we do online teaching, for example, teaching, we can reach many more people. Ah, so it increases our teaching effect. 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 That's right, and you can also access information so easily. It's not like you have to walk into a room and open the door of a file cabinet and shuffle through papers to find what you need. It's all in the computer if it's been entered correctly. Yeah, 而且我们找找寻资料也容易的多啊，不像以前啊。我还记得我在这个念大学的时候，那个时候没有没有网络，没有这么发达的网络啊。要找资料的话。都要去图书馆里面啊，打开那个那个一一个档案柜啊， yeah. 或者是那个去呃一本一本的书去翻啊，啊那个其实蛮过程会花很多时间。Yeah. Right, and a lot of administrative procedures、mm -hmm. they used to be all written out by hand and then bound with string, just like old Chinese books. Yeah, 那很多这个公文啊、文件啊都。啊，这个要把它装订起来，哈，厚厚的一叠一叠的，那找起来也很不方便。还现装的，现装的 ，Yeah. Yeah. So that was kind of amazing, and I always thought it was very quaint. 嗯、mm. ，quaint is Q U A I N T. Q U A I N T. That means an old custom that, when you look back on it, it looks kind of cute and interesting. Yeah. So this. Quaint 就是有点古怪，但是古怪的可爱啊， yeah. 或者有点古味啊。Yeah. yeah， 就是有点这个古老的怀旧那种感觉，那种味道。Yeah. That was my first feeling when I came to Taida. Ah.、Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And they still had those big cylinder typewriters. Ah,、oh, 那时候还是有打字机什么的。Well, actually, I miss those days. I kind、yeah. of do too, sort of. <laughs> yeah, 因为那个时候，因为因为那个时候，这个早知道都要去图书馆哈，所以我我在念大学的时候。啊，这跟图书馆管员非常的熟啊！ Oh. 我进图书馆好像进进自己家的那个厨房一样，然后每次进去都觉得好像到家里面一样。Yeah. 然后因为在门口，那个图书馆员就跟就跟你打招呼啊，跟你笑，会跟你聊几句啊什么的。我觉得那种感觉很棒。Yeah. That was the old library. Yeah， 那个是以前的古那个旧的文学院图书馆哈、啊，现在都已经搬到新的大楼去了。Okay, so just look at all the things that Wesley and I came up with. Just looking at this title, it kind of makes you think. So let's find out. More about what they had in mind.、Uh, our first paragraph: When it comes to going green, most people think the answers are to be found in new technologies, often ones that rely on the internet and the ever-growing digital economy. But exactly how sustainable is our digital life? Behind every Google search or YouTube view, there are data centers. These gigantic complexes are tasked with collecting, storing. Processing, distributing, and allowing access to large amounts of data. Unfortunately, they consume enormous amounts of energy and are big producers of CO2. The biggest centers, which can cover more than a million square feet, use as much power as a city with a population of one million people. In fact, they consume two to three percent of the world's electricity and release as much CO2 as the airline industry. According to a Greenpeace report, the global IT industry would rank behind only China and the U.S. as top contributors to climate change. Our personal actions also contribute to the problem. And those data centers that are so harmful? Well, the majority of the traffic that goes through them is due to video streaming, like watching YouTube clips or streaming Netflix shows. Additionally. The rate that people cycle through devices like laptops and smartphones is climbing as people try to keep up with the latest technology. So, what's the solution? Like all other efforts to go green, clean energy is the main answer. Luckily, 
Internet companies are already making a big push for more renewable energy sources. A major cloud giant, Switch, has announced plans to build a large solar powered hub, and other data companies are signing on to get power from wind and solar farms. So it ends on kind of an optimistic note. Now, we have all these ideas that things just work on without much effort, you know, they just kind of hum away. And aren't a big issue, but we found out that these things that we take for granted every day now have serious problems associated with them. So, back to our title How Unsustainable is the Digital Economy? I probably would have said, How Sustainable is the Digital Economy? But by using unsustainable, it plants the idea in our mind that things are not as simple and as tidy and nice as we imagine them. So in in that sense, it's probably a stronger title. 好，所以这个地方呢，他用 unsustainable 放在这 title 里面啊。当然，你也可以说 how sustainable 啊 is the digital economy 啊，那就比较是平铺直叙的一个问句。但他是用 unsustainable， 那就是让你感觉到比较有那种负面一点的影响的的的联想哈、啊，就是这到底有多么的 unsustainable。所以他的假设是告诉我们，暗示我们说，这种数位科技其实好像不是那么环保。Right, it plants the idea in our minds that things are not as rosy as we might imagine. It plants the idea in our minds. 嗯哼，好，他把这个想法种在我们的脑袋里面哈。那要什么想法呢？就是事情可能不像我们想象的那么美好啊。Rosy 就是美好，像玫瑰花一样，哇，一切都很棒。When it comes to going green, most people think the answers are to be found in new technologies. Often ones that rely on the internet and the ever-growing digital economy. 好 ，When it comes to， 当我们想到什么 ，going green 啊 ，green 就是这个，在这里其实就是环保哈，关心环保议题，那是 green。And using renewable resources rather than ones that can be used up and cause a lot of pollution like oil. Yeah， 那这个 green 也表示你要多。使用多利用可这个可以再生的能源，好，是吧？永续的、嗯、永续的能源。那 go 在这里就是这个成为啊，所以 going green 就是你要做环保，要从事环保，对吧 ？Right， 选择并执行这样子。Yeah， OK， that's a good translation 啊、嗯，选择啊并执行，那就是 go 的意思哈。所以简单的说，中文大概就讲直接讲说啊，你如果要环保的话，好，要这个。呃，得到得达到环保的效果的话，大多数的人认为 the answers 答案 are to be found， 就是这个答案呢要去哪里找的意思。好，这个地方你也可以文法上你也可以说 the answers are found， 但是 the answers are found 就是已经找到了 ，right？ 你已经找，但是 are to be found 就是大家认为你要去这里找。Right. If you want to look for them, they're here. Go ahead. Yeah. 好，所以你要去这里找哈。你要这个啊，你要答案去这里找，去哪里找呢？在这个新的科技啊，然后呢？ Often, ones the ones just the techno technologies. 通常是哪些科技呢？就是 rely on the internet. 通常是依靠网络的这些新科技里面。还有呢 ，the ever growing digital economy. 哈 ，ever growing 就是不断成长的。这个 ever 在这里就是 at all times. 啊 ，always 的意思。那不断在成长 ，ever growing. 然后这个 digital 就是数位的 economy， 就是数位经济。The first time we mention it, because it's a relatively new idea, we're going to stress both words: digital economy. That's so everybody catches it, because it's a little difficult and it's very important. But after I've mentioned it once, it's going to go back to its original stress pattern, which is digital economy. So lots of things are happening now in the digital economy. Just the first time, we'll stress both of them to make it clearer to the listener. 嗯，好，所以这个重音呢，第一次我们念的时候，因为它是个新的资讯，好，所以我们可能两个不是可能，我们两个大家都会有重音 ，digital economy。但是其实如果念第二次或者在讨论里面第二次讲到这个时候，重音大概就会放在前面啊 ，digital economy。Right, and then it becomes a compound. But exactly how sustainable is our digital life? Now that's a more common way of expressing the idea in the title. Just how sustainable is it? 好，那接下来这个句子他说，但是 exactly 究竟啊，嗯 ，how sustainable 它到到底有多么的永续，多么的能够维持啊？那什么东西呢 ？Is our digital life 我们的数位生活到底是多么的 sustainable？ 它是如何的？它到底可以永续到什么样的情况？它到底是如何的环保的意思？真的是这个样子吗 ？Yeah, yeah. 
Behind every Google search or YouTube view, there are data centers. 好，那首先呢，我们看到 behind 在什么的背后呢？在每一个 Google search 啊，这个你每一次用 Google 搜寻东西的时候，每一次搜寻啊，每一笔，每一笔搜寻啊，还有呢，你每一个这个 YouTube view， 就是你每一次在 YouTube 上面看影片啊，那。在这个每次 Google 上找你做一次做一笔搜寻，每一次看一次 YouTube 的影片呢，背后都有什么呢？都有 data centers， 都有数据中心，而且不止一个。These gigantic complexes are tasked with collecting, storing, processing, distributing, and allowing access to large amounts of data. 好，那我们看到这个 gigantic 就是。很巨大的意思 ，very large 的意思，这个字跟那个 giant 巨人是同一个字根啊，字源是一样的 ，g i a n t 啊，巨人，所以 gigantic 就是像巨人一样那么巨大的哈、啊，所以这里很巨大的这个 complexes，complex Complex, 它可以用来指网络系统啊，它是可以它可以是个 network 啊，一个 interlinked system 啊，所以这些巨大的这些网络的系统。好 ，complex 通常也可以，它也可以表示一个建筑群，好，是一群建筑，所以这地方可能直接在 center 本身的建筑就是不可能是一个小小的，可能是一群建筑。那它也因因为它是跟网络有关系，所以它也是有一个很庞大的网络系统。A complex can also be 症候群。Yeah, I have an inferiority complex. 嗯、呃，那就是自卑感啊，所以它也是个症候群哈。所以在这里讲的当然是的这些网络系统啊，这个巨大的网络系统 are tasked with 好。Task 当动词的时候呢，就是 to give a task to 啊，所以 are tasked with 就是他被赋予这样的任务啊，被赋予这样的工作。什么工作呢 ？Collecting 收集 ，storing 就是储藏啊，储存啊 ，processing 是处理 ，distributing 是分发，然后呢 ，allowing access to 就是允许别人可以取得，允许别人可以使用。Large amounts of data, 就大量的资料。好，这个 large 常常会跟一些表示数量的字一起用啊。那这个时候不能用 big， 所以你不会说 big amounts of data， 那不对。It's not actually. It's possible. It's not common. It sounds a little childish, I guess. 啊，听起来有点像孩子气哈。Uh-huh. 通常都是用 large， 好，所以 a large、yes. amount of a large quantity of 就是跟数量有关嘛，对不对？或者 a large proportion of 就是很大一部分。啊，或者 to a large extent， 这些都是跟 large 一起用，因为很多人搞不清楚 big 跟 large 的差别。那我们一个一个学，在这里各位就记得，跟数量词有关的，通常是用 large。那我们底下会看到 big 两个地方都用 big， 到时候我们再讲那 big 是什么时候用啊。不过在这里大家就学先学会，所以其实最简单的方法你就把它背起来 ：large amounts of something。那 ，for example， big business。哦，如果说是大的话，像 big business 啊，这个。大的这个商业哈，大的这个企业，这个 big 哈，其实我们啊，既然讲到，我们可以讲这个 big， 它通常会就是指程度上面很大的，好，所以大企业不是说它数量很大，而是它程度很大。Yeah, yeah they're just 就是大型的，大型的， yeah. 对，力量也很大。Yeah， 大型的力量也很大，这个时候会用 big。And also big data is really common now. 嗯，大数据啊， yeah. 大数据啊，因为大数据在这里，它讲的也不，它重点不在那个量很大，而是指它那个这规模，还有它的这个使用的程度， right. 那个是非常大。Yeah. 规模 is a good way to think of it. Yeah. Unfortunately, they consume enormous amounts of energy and are big producers of CO2. 好，很不幸的 ，they consume， 他们消耗 enormous amounts of energy， 大量的这个能源啊，而且他们是 big。Producers of CO2, they are two greenhouse gases' very big producers. That you should pay attention to. This is also big. Ah, it is not large producers. It is big because here it refers to the scale. They produce very much, very much, very much, very much CO2. The biggest centers, which can cover more than a million square feet, use as much power as the city with a population of a hundred million. Ah, the biggest centers, which can cover more than a million square feet, use as much power as the city with a population of one million people. Wow, good. So, you can see the biggest centers, biggest centers, the 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 biggest centers, 规模哈，就是这个它的程度哈，这个很大很大程规模程度很大的这种中心呢 ，which 啊这些中心可以 cover 涵盖他们所涵盖的面积啊，也就是它的面积会占地，它可以超过一百万平方英尺啊，所以非常大啊。然后呢，他们怎么样 use 他们使用 as much power as 就是和什么一样多的能源，和什么一样多的能源呢？和一个城市 a city。而且这个不是随便一个城市，是一个有
一百万人口的城市啊 ，a city with a population of one million people 啊 ，with a population of 就是这个城市人口有多少的意思啊？那 a population of 那个 a 是需要的，因为这个它的这个是一个数字嘛，所以它不是唯一的，它是一个数字而已，所以这个数字有一个 a，a population of one million people。In fact, they consume two to three percent of the world's electricity and release as much CO2 as the airline industry. 事实上呢 ，in fact, they consume 他们消耗百分之二到三的世界的 electricity. That's shocking. 很可怕哈！全世界的电力有百分之二到三是消耗在这些数据中心身上。哇 ！It on the one hand says how much energy they consume. On the other hand, it tells us how much we rely on the digital economy now. Yeah, 这一方面告让我们觉得哇，这个规模这么大，消耗这么多的电力。另外一方面也让我们这个吓到就，就哦，原来我们是如此的依靠这个数位科数位的经济啊。所以呢，它这个是占全世界电力的百分之二到三啊。然后呢，释放 release 就是释放多少呢 ？As much CO2 as 就是这个和什么一样多的二氧化碳 ？As much CO2 as 和什么一样多的二氧化碳呢？和航空业哈 ，the airline industry also very shocking。这也是非常 shocking， 因为我们这个尤其最近环保，大家都在讲说，其实航空业造制造了许多的 CO2。Yeah, we think of two main culprits at least in the states. One of them is the number of cattle, because、mm-hmm. in America they produce and eat and export so much beef. 嗯，好，所以这个一般人讲的两个 culprit 就是罪犯啊 ，c u l p r i t 啊 ，c u l p r i t， 哦，罪魁祸首，罪魁祸首啊啊，所以通常呢，这个呃，让大家想到空这个空气污染啊，或者 C O two 二氧化碳有两个罪魁祸首，一个就是美国的这个啊、呃，或者是世界上畜牧业，尤其像美国，他们养了非常多的牛，他们产生了很多二氧化碳。And the other one is the airline industry. 那另外一个就是航空业啊，那结果搞了半天啊，这个我们用的用网络啊，这些资资讯的这个呃数位科技啊，哎，用的这所释放的二氧化碳居然是跟航空业一样多。According to a Greenpeace report, the global IT industry would rank behind only China and the U.S. as top contributors to climate change. So ever since the recent rise and growth of China. We imagine the two giants when it comes to energy consumption as those two countries. 嗯，好，那这个呃，中国啊，自从经济发展发达起来之后呢，大家就常常想到这个污染啊，或者是这个、呃、消耗能源、消耗能源啊，或者是造成气候变化最大的两个这个呃呃 culprits， yes， 就是美国跟中国啊，大家想到大概是这样子。但是其实各位看到这地方又是一个 shocking。啊的这个一个是那个 information 啊，他说 according to 根据一个绿色和平组织的报告 ，the global 全球的 IT industry 就是资讯科技产业，全球的资讯科技产业呢 would 会啊 would 就如果你要排的话，你会排到哪里去？会排名 rank 就排名，然后呢排名是怎么样 ？behind only 排名仅次于中国和美国。啊，在哪？那这个排名在排什么东西呢？啊，在什么样的排名？它会 rank behind only China and the U.S. 呢？是 as 作为 top contributors， 就是最大的促成者啊，出贡献。哎，不是贡献，这边发现贡献很奇怪哈、啊。所以最大的促成者，促成什么呢？促成全球气候变迁啊，最主要的这个呃促成者。所以换句话说，现在前前三个啊，这个造成气候变迁的。那很多人觉得在在就是，或者是根据这个绿色和平组织的报告，那就是中国、美国，然后第三名就是资讯科技产业。But we ourselves are not off the hook. Our personal actions also contribute to the problem. We like to blame big companies and big countries, but we personally are part of the problem. 但是我们的 personal actions， 我们个人的行动也 contribute to， 就是也造成了。部分的问题啊，换句话说，我们对这个产生这样问题，我们也是有所谓的贡献的。<笑> yeah. yeah, and those data centers that are so harmful. 啊，那这个地方这个语气叫做，我们的确有说过了，这些这个 data centers 他们是这个很非常有害的。但是我们呢，我们自己呢 ？Right， 我们的语气好像是，你以为你只能责备他 ，but what about ourselves? Well, the majority of the traffic that goes through them is due to video streaming, like watching YouTube clips. Or streaming Netflix shows, they are not free. 
嗯，好，所以呢，大家不要觉得啊，这个网络上看东西不用钱啊。其实怎么样？他说 ，the majority of the traffic 啊，就是大多数的交这个流量 that goes through them 啊 ，them 就是这 data centers， 都大部分经过这些呃资讯中心的或者这个数据中心的这个交通流量，大多数都是 is due to 都是因为啊这个 video streaming 就是影片的串流。啊，就好像你看这个 YouTube 的 clips、YouTube 的影片啊，或者是啊 streaming， 或者在串流，也是在线收看啊，这个 Netflix shows 就网飞的一些节目。Additionally, the rate that people cycle through devices like laptops and smartphones is climbing as people try to keep up with the latest technology. So you buy a device and you throw it away two years later and get a new one. That creates a lot of waste. Yeah, 好，那 the rate 就是速率啊，什么东西的速率呢？ That people cycle through devices. 好， cycle through 在这里就是 rotate 的意思，就是这个选择的循环，就是你用了用了这个呃呃手机之后，哎，你又用了 laptop， 那又用了这个平板电脑，那又回去又用手机啊，这样不断的这个汰换呐、啊，经常性的汰换。Or yeah, 汰换 that means you've been using it a few years and then you get a new one. Yeah, so it's just 经常性的汰换哈，所以人们汰换这些 devices 这些装置哈，就是电子装置的速度啊。那接下来它这个 devices 它也举例什么样的 devices， 例如说你的 laptops， 你的这个笔记型电脑，还有你的 smartphones。那人们汰换这些东西的速度呢 ，is climbing 也在上升啊。As people try to 啊，因为啊，这个或者。随着人们试着要 keep up with， 要跟上 the latest 最新的科技，那这个东西其实我觉得是个很大的问题哈。这个电脑很多电脑其实没有坏，但是因为你就觉得啊，这个不是最新的了啊，或者是有时候电脑公司也很坏，他就要给你弄一大堆新的软体，让你的电脑越跑越慢，到最后明明电脑是好的，啊用不下去了。Right. 啊，手机也是这样子，但是其实那东西都没有坏哈。那个像我的我旧的手机，我现在还在用啊，我有一个手机现在已经大概五年了。嗯哼。啊，五年 ，That's a long time. 五年的，我我后来买了一个新的手机，因为那个旧的手机实在是没有办法了，太慢了哈。但是那个旧的手机我还是在用，我没有丢掉，我还是可以拿来它上网，可以查东西啊。所以尽量不要乱换。Yeah. So what's the solution? 那有什么解决办法是什么呢？我们要怎么解决呢 ？Like all other efforts to go green, clean energy is the main answer. 就好像其他所有环保的努力一样 ，all other efforts to go green 啊，那 clean energy 就是这个洁净的能源是主要的答案 ，is the main answer. Luckily, internet companies are already making a big push for more renewable energy sources. 好 ，make a big push. Push 在这里就是努力的推进啊，所以啊，很幸运的是，这些网络公司他们已经在努力的推进啊 ，for 希望能够找到什么。希望 for 就表示他们的目的，希望能够找到更多的 renewable energy sources 可再生能源。A major cloud giant, Switch, has announced plans to build a large solar-powered hub, and other data companies are signing on to get power from wind and solar farms. 好，一个 major 主要的 cloud giant 就是一个这个云端的这个巨头啊。同一个告诉你，就是 Switch， 他们已经宣布 announce plans， 宣布了一些计划，要建造一个很大的 solar powered， 就是大呃太阳能驱动的啊，这个 hub， 这个一个中心资讯中心。然后呢，枢纽，嗯，呃，枢纽呀、嗯、，hub 一个枢纽啊。然后呢，还有其他的数据公司 ，other data companies are signing on to get power 啊，所以 to sign on 就是。签署啊，参加就 to agree to do something 或者 to participate something. Right, 我也来加入。我也来加入哈、啊嗯，所以他们也签这个签署要参加要加入啊，这个行动干嘛呢 ？To 要目的是要 get power 取得电力啊，取得能源 from 从哪里取得呢？从 wind 风还有 solar 太阳能啊，所以换句他们认为啊，用更。洁净的能源啊，风力或者太阳能发电啊，他们希望能够从这个地方取得他们的 power. I would call this a very informative article, full of a lot of information that is quite shocking and very interesting. Yeah, 这篇文章有很多的资讯哈，让我们感到很震惊啊，原来有这么严重，或者原来是这样子。Yeah, we have three quick reading comprehension questions. Number one, why is Google mentioned in the passage? 啊，本文为什么提到谷歌呢？ The answer is D. Every search on the website uses data centers. 答案是 D. 网络上每一次搜寻都使用数据中心 Number two, which of the following would not go 
through a data center. 底下哪一项不会通过数据中心呢 ？The answer is A, saving a file to a thumb drive. 好，答案是 A， 把文件存到随身碟。And number three, what does the author say is a hopeful piece of information in the last paragraph? 作者在最后一段说哪一项讯息是一线曙光 ？The answer is D. Digital businesses are investing in renewable energy. 答案是 D. 数位公司正在投资可再生能源。I recommend you reread this article very carefully. There's a lot of great information and good expressions in it, 